chances are you probably learned how to count and do simple addition and subtraction using your fingers. Then, once the numbers got bigger and you got better, you found ways around it. Perhaps you began to rely on your memory or acquired other techniques. But in this video, I'll show you how you can use your fingers to count in more ways than you think. Let me explain. Here's the conventional approach to finger counting, where each finger represents one. But you may also divide each finger into three. Take a look at your palm. Each finger, including your thumb, has three partitions. Using each partition, we can now count up to 30. The Koreans use a method that allows people to use their fingers to count up to 99. Of course, it takes time to master, but it goes something like this. First, make sure your hands are laid flat on a table with your thumbs pointing towards each other. The fingers on the right represent the units with the thumb representing the number five. The fingers on the left hand represent the tens, with the thumb representing the number 50. For example, here's how some numbers can be made. One, two, three, and four are simple. If you want to represent five, you stick out your right thumb. Six, seven, eight, and nine are also shown. Here's what 10 looks like. This is 11, this is 12, 13, 14, and 15. If you want to represent the number 51, stick out your left thumb and right index finger. Here's 95, and finally the maximum is 99, and that's when you have both hands open. There's also an old Chinese method that allows you to count up to 100,000 on one hand and up to 10 billion on both hands. The beauty of these techniques is that everyone can use them even if you're visually impaired. Much the same way an abacus acts as a visual, so can your fingers. So next time you see a person counting with their fingers, make sure you're not so judgmental because you never know what they're counting to. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you use any other technique, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching.